So you're the second Taz that we know. Right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> we know a whole nother Taz. Um, I want it to be super casual. All right. Okay. What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. We're 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 at your house. Yes. And tonight you have an event. That's right. Uh, Latin night. Latin night. And people don't know that you actually have like 10 years, even though you're, you're from Zimbabwe. Yes. And then you have Club Ubuntu, which is Afrobeats. It's known for Afrobeats. Yes. It's known, you know, as that brand um, for Afrobeats. Um, mm -hmm. but, um, but you guys are doing Latin night out here tonight in Austin at Moonfire Lounge, right? That's right. Okay. Uh, what do you love about doing events? So, you know what? I think. Uh, the whole approach that I've always taken in doing events is all about building community. Yeah. So there's something about interacting with people face to face. Yeah. You get to know them. Yeah. Uh, all your fears are done. Yeah. Um, sometimes you get apprehend apprehensive yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But once you actually sit down with someone and you see them again, yeah, they don't yeah. look so strange anymore. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so we really are in the business of building communities. Mm -hmm. So, like I always say that uh, Club Bantu mm -hmm. is uh, a community of people who love to dance. Yeah. So, we use different Ooh, genres I love of music. That. Yeah. A community of... Ooh! Yeah. Club but, what does Bantu mean? Uh, so, Bantu is... Um, Club Bantu, Bantu is actually a, a group of people yeah. that uh, started off in Africa 4,000 years ago. Okay. They started off in the... Composition, you know this? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, they, they started off yeah. in the... in West Africa. Yeah around the Cameroon, Congo mm -hmm. area in Nigeria. Okay. So ar around Nigeria. 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 Yoruba exactly. land. Exactly. What do you think about Nigeria? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Nigerians! Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so what, what Club Bantu is, yeah. we're following the history of these people. Mm -hmm. Their music, their yeah. style, their way of living. Yeah. So that's why I call Club Bantu because this group of people has actually been so influential throughout history. Yeah. Uh, if you really think about it, they are the largest group. When they traveled, they were nomads to yeah. start with. They were farmers looking for more fertile land. Yeah. They had uh, a civilization that yeah. is very deep. It has been lost over time. Mm -hmm. uh, it, and it's not been talked about so much. Mm -hmm. So Club Bantu really is following their history from 4,000 years ago. They moved into uh, Cameroon, Tanzania, Kenya, Zambia, mm -hmm. Zimbabwe, Malawi. Yeah. Uh, and they only stopped when they got down to South Africa. Yeah. Where, because they already had the Kosa and the Kosa and the Khoi people down there. Yeah. The Khoisan people. Yeah. So, but then they, they intermarried. So all of their civilization is what we're following. That's why I call Club Bantu. Yeah. Um, and over that time, they influenced all of the groups of people, inhabitants of those local areas. Yeah that they met hmm. you know, so when they so that group of people their way of farming their way of living their music yeah. the clave yeah, yeah. which you hear yeah. now when slavery happened mm -hmm. some of those bantu people were taken to the americas yeah you see what i'm saying and latin america, and latin america. A lot exactly of them latin america. Cuba. that's where the, the, so, <laughs> the, the latin comes in because we're Woo! following all of their history have been if made. you yeah. go to cuba yeah. Their music, the clave, if you go to Colombia, the same music. Yeah. If you go to Brazil, if yeah. you go to Bahia, Salvador Bahia, where yeah. all of the Africans, the Angolans are yeah. in Salvador Bahia, that or those are all Bantu people. Yeah. So that's why Club Bantu follows their music yeah. all the way to the Americas. That's why we do African music yeah. and Latin music. Nice. Yeah, so we're bridging all those gaps through that, their music. I assume you work with like different DJs, right? Yes, we do. Okay, so mm -hmm. like and you're musicians a, and live musicians oh, as man. well. Okay. We do so live you're, music. You're, you're an overall director right. behind all of these different programs. When mm -hmm. it comes to a DJ, yes, what do you look for when you're like connecting to a DJ? Like, how do you know that? This guy is going to take care of my people. Is that when I take myself out of the process? Because I'm a retired DJ. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> I have to take my personal yeah. thinking out of that to be a, an objective person. Because you're better than that. No, because no well, you know. every DJ thinks they're better than everybody else. You are no better than everybody else. Let me tell you, there are people that are just as good. <laughs> so get over yourself. <laughs> so if I take myself out of it, yeah. really what I look for, because I always tell people that I learned about African music yeah. through Latin music, even yeah. though I was born in Zimbabwe. Yeah. I, when I was growing up in Zimbabwe, it was during the 80s and 70s, and we're listening to Motown and hip-hop and reggae. My family owned mm. reggae bars. Yeah. You know, I, I, so I never listened to African music. Yeah. Only when I was in the, Ameri in the States yeah. did I start paying attention to 
African music after I said That's to myself, so why do I like this Latin sound? Yeah. You know, when I, because I owned a, a Latin bar for a while. Yeah. I was like, why do I, why am I drawn to this music? Yeah. So I started reading and researching. I'm like, oh my God, there it is. Yeah, because it's so African <laughs> music. Because yeah. Latin music is yeah. nothing but yeah. the romance between the African drum mm. and the Spanish guitar. Mm. Wow. That's mm. what it is. Wow. So, you know, so, so when I finally concluded, I said, okay, well, I've, left my civilization my yeah. culture to adopt all of these other cultures yeah. why have i been so and i some of it i blame it on media and colonialism yeah, colonization yeah, yeah. of africa yeah, yeah. you sort of run away from who you are yeah. and they adopt other cultures they yeah. think they are better and yeah. more pronounced than your own. Fascinating. Fascinating. You know? fascinating. You, you, curious. You loved it. You yeah. were, like, I love music. I'm a music you. person. You play yeah. me a good song, I'll yeah. tell him third, first 30 seconds, yeah. that's a hit. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's how a DJ thinks, at yeah. least. You know what I mean? And we underestimate, you know, because we're carrying inside of us already the appreciation. You right. know, like, like, I feel like it took me a long time to do any sort of like African hash, like, slash um, black appreciation just because I was carrying it in me. I didn't have to try to appreciate African culture, you know, I had my dad, you know, be like, have you done your homework? Right. <laughs> and I, and I, I understood African the culture father, right? deeply, so it wasn't, it wasn't really a problem, but yeah. now that you've had that chance to experience it, because the same thing, like, after I've had a chance to experience life, I understand why my roots yeah. um, that come from my African dad and my African mom, who uh -huh. I love deeply, um, you know, I understand why that bleeds into everything else. And then yeah. I can come back, you know, it's like I want to spend as much time with my parents as I can now. Yeah. And I feel like it's almost the same thing. Oh, yes. That, that has actually been what has been happening with me. So I spent many, many years in Latin music. I represent the Latin communities. Mm -hmm did so much work with Latin music for yeah. over um, 10 years. Yeah. And then, now I feel like I'm a student of African music that yeah. I grew up with, so I've been yeah. ferociously, yeah. like, attaching myself to everything African music. Yeah. You know, so now I have two passions. I have this Latin music that I spent so many years doing, yeah. and then now I have my new refound love, if I can say, yeah. of African music. Okay, yeah. very cool, very cool. I don't yeah. want to make it too mm -hmm. long. Yeah. We're chilling. This yeah. is pre-event for you. You yes. have a crazy event tonight. You invited us to your extremely gorgeous house in Austin. Like, it, it, it's 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 ridiculously beautiful. Thank Congratulations you. on this out, and it's netted, so there's no mosquitoes. Anyway, though, yeah. Thank, thank you so much for like letting us come yeah, out. No, I really like appreciate that. it. It's that fun, you... and we're chilling, and we're relaxing. So I'm gonna keep the vibes. You got your cousin here, yeah. who's been, nephew, sorry, nephew, your yeah. nephew who's been be super fun out. to know. <laughs> <laughs> this guy on your team, I can only say, things are to come. Let me uh, <laughs> absolutely no. Things are to come. You know, we're actually the same age, so really I, I had a really connection with him. Yes. Both 29, yes. we have the, the mentality. We, have the, we know what it's actually yeah. about. Yeah. Actually. Never mind. I'm not gonna go. <laughs> just relaxing. We'll just we'll probably <laughs> we'll probably head out to the event a little bit later, yeah. right? It's yeah. gonna be fun. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous because yeah. it's our opening night for oh, Latin night. You know, oh, we've been planning yeah. to do this for a while. Yeah. But then, you know, finally we said the day has come. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be fun. I'm super just, excited. I'm super sure. Events always have that nervous. I'm I'm nervous before every event. I'm like, why did I plan this event? I could have been at home. I have a whole Netflix queue that's waiting for me. <laughs> Anything could have happened. But the reason why you do events is because there's a group of people there. there is. And connecting connecting with that group of people yes. is the same thing as connecting with yourself at a certain point. Absolutely. And you have to be able to connect with yourself. You have like there's, there's nothing else. Anyway. And you're gonna be a dad soon. Oh yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> the tribe, the Bantu tribe, so is, is expanding. So your nervousness might not even be about tonight. Maybe it's some like residual. <laughs> I'm gonna be a dad nervousness. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, yeah. Yeah. but it's cool. It's pretty it's soon. All, be it's a DJ. all stacked up in How, the old. What the age is he gonna get into DJing? Well, you know what? I don't know. I started when I was six years old. That's when okay. I started the music. So, so he starts so when he's three. three. <laughs> exactly. He has and, to do uh, better than I you. Right? Some, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm serious. Yes, I'm. You know, I'll start mixing and scratching. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, thank you guys. All right. We're going to have more fun yes. and, and chill out a little bit before this event. All so. right, yeah, you guys, you know, enjoy. Peace. Peace.